All right, hello. In this video, we're going to go through and walk through a Revit project and setting it up from start to finish, getting through basically design documents for electrical systems and showing you just how quick and easy it can be. So with that, we're going to start the timer here and go to work. So first, we'll go ahead and use surfboard and we'll start to put in lighting, power, fire alarm, all that kind of good stuff. We'll start with lighting here and... With that, we're going to start with our trusty fixture, 4,000 lumens. All right. Go ahead and update all this good stuff. There we go. And we're going to select all here. We'll come back and do the corridors in a minute. We'll go through and basically put our everything at 40 foot candles so that's good we'll go through storage that's fine electrical we're good there so all these are good we'll rip these out of the stairs and vestibule everything else is good so we'll go ahead and run our lighting And while this is running, we'll just walk through what we're going to do next. So we'll go through, we're just going to do lighting first, and then we'll go through and put in our receptacles, panels, all that kind of good stuff through the model. So we want to make sure that we're doing this just in order and as quickly as possible. Just skipping through a little bit one light fixtures placed so we can see that here in our ceiling plan this is going through like all floors so don't let this fool you okay we'll place our uh, receptacles switches next so we'll go through and place our receptacles so with this you could place data outlets so don't let that fool you but i'm gonna do revit models revit families receptacles maybe under here we go duplex receptacle place our standard and then two per wall so we'll go ahead and do that right it's only been a couple minutes here select everything and in the corridors we really just want one per wall it'll give us the best spacing in storage we want one six inches from the door same in the electrical rooms we'll just do one six inches from the door in the men's room one six inches from the door same thing here in these other restrooms just one one outlet six inches from the door we'll change to our gfc here and these our prep dish we'll make these gfcis and we'll just put one on each wall in the sprinkler room we'll do the same thing here really just one six inches from the door should be good there storage one six inches from the door standard outlet yeah, for now, nothing in the vestibule. That's okay. And then uh, to everywhere else, a couple six inches from the door and one in the corridors. And then same, just one per wall in the lobby is fine for now. All right, so that's all of our receptacles. We've got our switches. We'll just start with dimmers and place these typically at the doors. Here we go. Those are good. Storage. Really, do we just want aux sensor in there? Here we want a just a single switch is good in the electrical room. Aux sensor in the men's room. Uh, if we keep going down, aux sensor in here, aux sensor in here, aux sensor in the storage, single pole in the sprinkler, open office. That's okay. Yep. All right. And then in our instruction rooms, we'll just go place two at the door for zoning, that kind of good stuff. All right. Now, these are our ceiling mounted occupancy sensors. So for these guys, we want to make sure that we're, let's do dual tech 360 coverage diameter is 25 feet. So we'll select all here, except for where we have our aux sensors that are places we already have them they might be wall mounted or whatever not in the sprinkler room leave the stair alone leave these alone um, we don't want that in the vestibule 
take the men's off. All right. And then we've got ox sensors, silly mount ox sensors everywhere else. Smoke detectors. Let me go ahead and put this in. Put electric smoke ceiling mount. Really, we just want this in the electrical room and the storage room. So we'll, I think there was a dry storage. There we go. Dry storage room. We'll put a couple panels in each electrical room. And again, you can run this all at once or like I have broken it up a little bit, right? We'll just put two panels in the electrical rooms. We'll put the wall horn strobes throughout. It's our default. Select everything. And then can I go from there? Our instruction rooms should be 75. That's okay. Drafting room, 75 corridor. We'll do a ceiling mount in the corridor. Um, conference. Yeah, let's just default everything to 75 foot candle or candela. There we go. All right. What doesn't need to be put in here? So yeah, we'll just default that and see where we're at when we're in there, since these can be adjusted in the field as well. We do need a stair, we do need a sprinkler. Let's just leave that alone. But we're gonna pull the corridor out and then put these uh, in the corridor. So out. 30 candela and we'll put these in the corridor all right so we can run the rest of this this will take a minute to to run and place all this equipment throughout the model and yeah we'll, we'll give this just a few minutes to run and place everything then we'll go ahead and create our sheets our views and sheets for everything right so that we don't get the weird placing like we have on the other one so we'll make sure that we basically get all this sorted out on our views and sheets from there, everything will get placed onto, right? All the views will get created. All the sheets will get created. The views will get placed on sheets. It'll create our dependent views. Since we do have two units in this project, A and unit B. And from there, we'll be able to, again, just walk through the rest of this and create what's effectively going to be a design document set. And so far, again, we're only eight minutes into this of getting design documents put together. And so when you're able to see everything and how it's placed, it'll be really just incredible to see everything that we're doing, right? You can see all these horn shrubs getting placed now, yeah. and this is, you're seeing the entire building. So we'll break this out and actually see everything on each floor. And that'll help a ton when we're able to just see each floor at a time versus the entire building looking down. We'll get that straightened out in our view plans. And then from there, again, everything will be on views and sheets. We'll cut sections, show you that these are on each floor, not stacked on top of each other like they're shown right now. Um, there'll be a few little corrections to make, uh, but this is a three-story, 40,000-ish uh, square foot building and really give you a good idea of what this stack of tools is really capable of. So once this is done populating, we'll go ahead and create our views and sheets. And then we'll start to circuit things. We'll start to put riser diagrams together, all that kind of good stuff. And at the end of this, you'll have a basically a full set of design documents. We're, we're not quite to construction documents, but we're getting there. 500 outlets, 122 switches, 87 ox sensors, five smoke detectors, 24 panels, 109 wall strobes, 13 ceiling horn strobes. Again, we'll just uh, take a look real quick here. Go to view, right? These are crossed all floors and it looks like our fire alarm devices are a little high. So we'll go ahead and move these down. Let's just move them three, six. Down, all right. So now they're below the ceiling. We got our lights on the ceiling, all that kind of good stuff. So if we look at this, lights are in here, switches the door all that good stuff. So got our fire alarm devices in and all right, let's create some views and sheets. So we want a, we'll do our power plan 
using our electrical plan, floor plan, and we'll call this E2. Uh, we'll do a lighting plan using our electrical ceiling plan, call this E3. We'll do a technology plan uh, with our technology plan, floor plan. We'll call this T2. We'll use our default title block, offset uh, 0.5. And point one, we'll tag all the rooms, we'll create dependent views, and we'll let this run. So there should be um, basically at four levels, right? First, second, third, and roof plans. And then for each of those, we're going to have two. So that'll get us to eight views per series uh, times three sheet series, right? Lighting, power, and technology. So it's 8, 16, 24 sheets are what are going to be created. And then we'll have the 24 corresponding views for those, right? Unit A, unit B, four, four each. So four levels, two units, three series. So four times three times two is 24. So that's how we get to 24 views and sheets, which are gonna be created here uh, momentarily. So this will basically help you to, where you don't have to click and drag and move every single view on every single sheet, wait for the Revit wheel <laughs> to stop spinning after you create each sheet. Um, and place each view. This will, this will expedite uh, that creation of it, walking through everything, again, not having to place it, and then um, going from there. So again, everything's gonna be placed in the project, a little bit of review, clean up for sure through this. But again, we are now, what are we, 12 minutes, 12 and a half minutes into this and already like getting pretty close to having We'll have all of our sheets set up, which this would have taken you probably half a day to do. Then we've got the all the placement of all the content, right? Thousands of elements have already been placed within the model and then putting them all on sheets. And then once we start to circuit, you can really see the power of this and just how fast this ends up being. Again, 13 minutes in and we're going to have <laughs> a printable set here shortly. So there's 24 sheets, 24 views, right? So overall and then each dependent view right in here so that's cool and then we've got all these pieces in so here's all the fire alarm elements that are put in right nothing's getting put on the curtain wall right including in the stair here where we've got a curtain wall in there and then we've got some pieces in the corridor so we probably don't want some of these right there's going to be some to move since that's really a, a lobby so we can adjust this somewhat here so that it's in the lobby and there we go and same thing here right we probably just want one in this admin room so we'll just delete out the rest of these same in the office right we'll leave this center one here same thing here right this is over the refrigerators Probably don't want that. And we probably want to create uh, another one over here. Again, little quick adjustments that we're making to, to this as we just look through it, right? Uh, on this, we might need to adjust up to 110, right? There's some of those little pieces too that we can do. Same thing here. Actually, in the lounge, we're probably going to have to... Uh, let's just place this here. And there we go. Right, again, most of these are, are good to get the whole room. And then we've got a couple adjustments like that, right? We need to make through. So we're gonna make those adjustments. So here's our ceiling mounted strobes, right? That helps a ton. And then just pick new for this guy, oops. I'm on the right one. There we go, there we go. Same thing here. Put another one in the computer lab. Offset these a little bit. Same thing in the administration room here. Print. Electrical room, offices. Yeah, we're good. All right. So there's that floor, third floor technology.
some of this is going to be where we haven't even placed our low voltage stuff yet. So leave this here. we are and then we need to place something here and here versus exterior wall same thing here right okay all right this will get us majority of the way we'll pick new All right, so this gets us the majority way here on low voltage stuff. Let's take a, so we've got all of our sheets, right? We've got our first floor power plan. We've got our panels put in here. We've got receptacles put in. It looks like on this, we need to do some half toning in our views. Revit link, we'll half tone and underlay. All that, we'll apply it and okay. There we go. All right. And it looks like we've got just too many outlets in here. Um, so we'll go ahead and let's just rip everything out of this dry storage room. All right, just a little too much. Got our prep things in here. We'll go through and put this behind our refrigerators. Good stuff. Convenience outlet over here. This guy, delete. Again, there were two there because it's a wall segment, so it's two on every wall, and that just wall segment happens to be small. And then here in the conference room, you might be wondering what's going on there. Well, let's take a look with this right there below the windows, which is cool. So that's awesome. Office here, again, probably just a few too many in there. We'll wait till some furniture gets put in. Same thing in storage here. We'll just rip some of this out. We're probably just one by the door is fine for storage. Admin. Again, we'll wait till some furniture gets put in. Conference room. That's all right. Convenience. Same thing here. I have some power in through here for convenience outlets, one on each of these for convenience. That'll work. And let's look at some lighting plans. All right, so we got some lighting plans put in here. Again, let's just let it this room. As to where we need it, we need some view templates updated since we're not seeing our doors. It's a big thing of mine is to see doors. There we go, and our switches. So again, these fixtures were centered in the room. So we'll just do some quick edits here, some shift and move. For that, our aux sensors look good. So this grid's rotated. All right, so yeah, we'll just get the architects to flip this grid to match our layout. And it's weird that each those grids are rotated. Again, I'm going through this as if this were a real project, just to give you guys a time frame for it. I know this is a little painful to watch and sit through, but it gives you a really good understanding of what this actually takes to do. So we'll just do lighting fixtures for this guy. Again, we'll have the architects flip the grid. So we'll throw these in here as they should be. Let's say, pin this model here so that none of that other stuff happens. Can't grab it. All right, and then we're gonna filter light fixtures. Here we go. 
Because if we rotate it, yeah, this will work. It's still not quite like I'd like to have it here. So we'll have the architect snap it to that one. Probably, yeah, delete that. And again, this is really a two by two grid. So ultimately, I'll have the architect snap to that. This is set, so that's good. We've got a drop ceiling in here, which is okay. All right, and then here's this. Fixtures. Our box sensors look to be in good shape. And here. Yeah, I'd rather have it sit this way. Sit in here. Actually, before I move that, let's just fixtures. There, we'll have the architects snap the grid there. Somehow got a here. That one loaded, so we'll deal with that later. So here, it's the offset bit and this. Again, this is just putting two by fours in all of this. And move them out of the like stairwells that are in here. All right, there's that. And then make sure that nothing is in this corridor. Yeah. So this is to deck in here. So if we want, right, and then we'll go 10 feet on center. to pick our designated night lights here. All of these to our emergency, and we'll go every fourth fixture. All right, again, we'll get through this real quick.
Oops. All right. And again, we are going to move this stuff here. We'll deal with the grid that they gave us. Oh, man. That's the problem. Yeah, this type of grid, things don't always sit the way that you want them. This guy here. And really, we need another fixture in here. But the way that the grid lays, we don't really have it. We'll have to have that conversation with the architects. The same thing here. That needs to snap. Same thing here. We need to really lay it the other way. Uh, Here, uh, box sensor laid out. All right, there's first floor lighting plan. Again, we're like 30 minutes into this, and first floor lighting is already done, right? Second floor lighting plan. Like, we're blowing through this stuff, guys. We really are. Um, like, and I'm doing emergency lighting, we're doing all this type of stuff. A lot of this is from experience, for sure. But again, it makes it really simple to go through and just do these little tweaks, little edits, get it done and dialed in, right? And then we've got, again, this two by two up here is two by four downstairs, right? That's a conversation with the architects on, hey, are we doing a, we doing a consistent grid across this project? What's up, right? Like getting all those things dialed in. Again, as we go through this, right, this is a an example to show you what is possible, right, when you start to use these types of automation tools. So within an hour, we're going to have this whole project dialed in. And that's, again, just to show you the power of these tools, right? So we'll go through here. We'll do this one more floor and, and show it to you guys. Since you probably don't want to sit here and watch me do this all day, but <laughs> it's, it's one of those things, man, where we like, we're making all these decisions, but it's really like these little adjustments and tweaks. The calculations have already been done. Like all that's been laid out for these fixtures based on the inputs and parameters that we gave it. So then it's just us making engineering decisions and judgments here on, on this project. Pretty simple stuff, honestly. It's a little bit coordination. Hey, we're going to have a conversation around some of this stuff. It's snapping everything in, a little bit of adjustment here and there. <clears throat> and this is, again, without looking at the project, right? Like we're doing this kind of somewhat sight unseen. Hey, there might be a little other adjustment we need to make in here, right? Like, all right, these are need to be snap to one, one more row here. Like I can see why the other fixtures didn't get placed, right? They'd be outside. Okay, do we need to make, all right, let's push these all the way up, right? We'll add this other row. Go like this, right? Now we've got everything in. Same thing here, a little adjustment, right? Push this guy up and then adjust our box sensors accordingly. Oops, looks like we grabbed these guys. But again, making some pretty pretty quick layouts and decisions. Like we're going to have 40,000 square feet full lighting power fire alarm done here in, in short order, right? You guys get the picture. So let's go through low voltage and data real quick and get these placed in. We'll go ahead and do this. Place these everywhere. 
and we'll just we'll go ahead and place those there. We'll put our card readers again. This will go on the secure side of the door. So we'll just select electrical rooms, stairs on the secure side of a stair, really for the outside. Let's just do those two rooms. Uh, this is like an office building or school. We don't need any dorm lights. We do need our door position switches also. So we'll just do that again on our stairs and electrical rooms, wireless access points. We'll put these like everywhere. Wireless AP. 25 foot spacing. Again, we'll just place these everywhere. Put them in all rooms. Um, we'll put them in the corridor too. Just leave them in there. And then, yeah, rooms where we don't need them. All right, that looks good. We won't do ceiling mounted speakers, but let's do some floor boxes in the... Here we go, data out of the floor. And just put two, and we'll just put them in the conference rooms, basically one at each end of the table. We'll put a couple data racks. Data rack. Add this guy. Put these in the electrical rooms. There's no technology, so we'll just put them in there, and then we'll we'll run this real quick. So this will be all of our low voltage stuff: um, security, wireless access points, card readers, door position switches, data racks, data outlets, all that good stuff. So these will get placed in the model, and again, we'll have some more coordination, some more pieces to go through. But you can see we got through. This is the second floor of lighting. We are at 35 minutes, <laughs> which is crazy, right? Have probably another 30 minutes in some cleanup work. And then, yeah, like that'll get the project done to where it, it needs to be. Again, a little more cleanup here that we'll do. Those are in a good spot. We'll leave those there. Move these guys over a little bit. Again, we got to get with the architect and straighten up some of the grid pieces. Those are there. These are there. We're good. We'll get them to snap. Everything will snap. Any big adjustments here? No, but here we'll go ahead and just, I'll show you the good old C calcs, right? Run this through. Here. There we go. These things aren't on anything. So we override it when we place them. All right, we got to come back through and do that, but we're pretty good here. And then same thing here. Place these guys in there. Again, minor adjustments throughout this project. Nothing that we wouldn't have to do already with architecture and getting the ceiling coordinated and all that good stuff, right? It's part of how it goes. Some ox sensors in here.
again by the book one should do but we'll add these in Okay, all right, there's those. Let's take a look at our technology plans. Here's our card readers, wireless access points. Again, like this is our symbol, but however you wanna play it. We got a door lock card reader on the exterior of the stair, door, our two floor boxes in the conference room, data outlet on the wall, data outlet on the wall. Again, we've got our card reader, door contact, right? For this, probably have another one sitting in here. Same thing here, right? We're gonna have two. We'll just make it legible. For this, there we go. We didn't put anything on the outside here, but probably need that. Probably need this here too. So again, we'll secure that. Didn't add anything to the vestibule. We'll have it, but there we go. There's this. We pretty much got a full set of drawings. We can start to pull counts, all that kind of good information out of this. Again, doing coordination as we go. And here we are 40 minutes in. I don't want to drag this video out, but take another 20, 30 minutes to, to put this through. There you have it, 20 minutes. And again, everything's on sheets. Or <laughs> 40 minutes and everything's on sheets, right? Everything's sheeted. Everything's ready to go. This would be with your title block, right? Unit A, unit B. Everything's done throughout, right? Lighting plans are in here. Roof, if we want, we can delete these out, right? So we delete our roof plans. Don't need any roof plans for technology, right? Our power plan. I'm sure we'll have some stuff eventually that'll get on the roof for mechanical. So we'll leave that for power. But there we have it. This is a pretty much a full set of drawings for a 40,000 square foot building in an hour. Pretty cool. There you have it, guys. Again, some cleanup, but for sure within half a day to get this all done. Thank you for watching. And again, the links to Cowbunga Studios, our products. If you want this custom tailored to you and what you're doing, we'd be more than happy to do that, right? We will custom tailor software to your needs, your workflows, your processes. If you're doing anything in the metric system, obviously grid is going to be a big part of that for light fixtures, right? And getting the spacing to hit to a metric grid versus a standard two foot or four foot grid, things like that. So again, be more happy to customize any pieces of software for you guys, for your, your needs, your situation, your workflows, what you want to see. And we didn't even cover, actually, let me just do that real quick. I'll cover here. So let me share my screen again. All right, so we're going to auto circuit some stuff. So we'll circuit everything, devices together in each room. We'll create panel schedules. We'll put seven devices on a circuit. So it's going to go through and circuit everything together. So 110 circuits just got created, six sheets, 24 schedules for all of our panels. So all of our panel schedules got created. It's not circuited to the panels, but the individual rooms are circuited. So we go through and look at this, right? If we look at this view, there's only two receptacles in here, right? So that's fine. But if we look at here's <laughs> here's these rooms, right? We start to look at these. All of this gets circuited together. So again, and then we just circuit it to our panels. That's done. And then if we go and create a auto riser, so if we create a riser for this, we'll put these in each of their sequence. Yep, we want KIC. We want, and we just won't do connected or demand amps for this one. We'll do it on rooms because those are in there, and here we go. This basically creates a drafting view. It'll still need to be placed on a sheet, but here we go. Right as we connect it, it'll do all the wiring for it. There's all the rooms for it. This is a text view. So if there's like text that you don't want to like have, so we'll just do undo those text notes. So if you want 330 seconds aerial instead, right? You can create that. Um, quarter is going to be massive, but if you wanted it, you'd have it. Otherwise, here's like the standard default. So there you go. Place this on a sheet. And as you connect it, add in stuff, circuit everything, it'll be there. And then again, these, this 225 is the name of the panels for now, right? That's all the naming of the, the panels. It's just that as those get updated and changed, as will the riser. So you run it again, have all that stuff. 
really again full set of drawings pretty much what are we at now 44 minutes 45 minutes and again say another hour so two hours will get you a full set of electrical lighting power fire alarm technology low voltage drawings that are good to go so thanks for watching again guys again we'll customize all this stuff you can see the power of it and what we're able to do here at Calbunga studios how we're able to help you create sets of drawings quickly, easily, as soon as you have a Revit model. Then we're waiting on mechanical for their pieces. We're coordinating with architecture for ceiling. We're coordinating AB, right? And having those conversations and everything just gets better. So pretty cool on what we're able to do. And thank you guys so much for watching and seeing through this 45 minutes of watching me put a set of drawings together or skipped all the way here to the end. So thank you guys. And we'll talk to you soon.